A heart that's been stunned from a severe heart attack, inflammation known as myocarditis, or heart failure may experience cardiogenic shock. The heart becomes weaker and weaker, the pumping chamber becomes weaker and weaker, and it gets to the point where the heart is no longer able to pump blood through the body. A drop in blood pressure, rapid breathing, and loss of consciousness may signal the condition, which is fatal in more than half of all cases. Many who have experienced cardiogenic shock require a device to pump blood through their body. The device is placed in the groin or the shoulder area to the heart, and it basically sucks blood out of the ventricle and it pushes it out through the aorta. If the heart is too damaged, a transplant may be considered. In other cases, medications can slowly strengthen the heart. Over the course of days, we're able to decrease the support and take those pumps out of the patient and have the heart recover with medical therapy. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Alex Ositas.